point. No point. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's it's actually. It's, it's not just numbers because we have a we have a basic difference in outlook, and I think part of the problem is the Republicans are unable to actually make concrete proposals. You know, if you actually look, all that talk we just heard about you know deficits in China and Greece, which is all nonsense, but all that talk about how we need to deal with this, and ask what is the Republican Party currently proposing? What have they actually put on the table? They put down some numbers, but what specifics? If you look at all of the things that they've concretely mentioned, all of their actual proposed spending cuts on you know, raising the Medicare aid. Uh, cutting the the price index for Social Security, it, it's about three hundred billion. Higher next, Medicare premiums on the years. wealthy. Yeah, it's it's tiny. They're, they're, what they've actually put on the table is almost nothing. All the rest is just big talk. So how is the president supposed to negotiate with people who say, "Here's my demands. By the way, I can't give you any specifics. Just make me happy." You know that, that that is the point the White House keeps making, Mary. That they can't give the pre Republicans what they don't ask for. That's completely mendacious. As was that. Republicans have offered, in theory and in specificity, for instance, to raise revenues, capping various deductions, not eliminating them, capping them, which the CBO says would raise $1.7 trillion over 10 years. They've been very specific. That, 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 that Professor, doesn't work. You know, that kills charitable deductions. No. It hits the middle class hard. If you, do it, if you do it right, we've done this, right? Are you, you do an it right, economist there's only four, or a there's polemicist? Only, there's make only $450 billion that you can get by doing that. Do you want to talk about economy or do you want to talk about polemics? No. We have that's, that's two not true. different ways of going forward. We will not have Medicare. We will not have Social Security. You have senior Democrat Dick Durbin saying Social Security is not costing us a penny. You had those congressmen, those Democrats saying that, they're, that, that Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security are not the driver of this debt. Even the president disagrees with this. What these guys should do, Coburn is right, this is meaningless. They should either give him the 98% and let him eat that tax, or they should do what President Clinton proposed, which is pot, like to extend it for three months and let the new Congress, we have a new Congress. How is it fair that the outgoing Congress that lost is making this well, They're the ones decision? who voted for it. Yeah.